What's up guys, I just thought I'd make a really quick video talking to you about the Android multitasking, how exactly it works, and also whether or not using the multitasking and swiping away, does it actually close out the app and is it worth doing? So you can see I had nothing in there at the moment. I'm gonna open some apps. I'm gonna open Twitter, I'm gonna open Tapper Talk, and I'm gonna open ESPN Goals. And let's just wait for this to load up. Okay, so they're all open. If you go to the multitasking menu, they're all there and you can switch between them. So you know they are in memory. They are either running or cached. Um, a quick test, if I go ahead and open Twitter, you can see it's very quick because it's in memory. If I swipe away Twitter and reload it, you can see it had to reload. So at some level, some part of the app did shut down. You can see here it's very quick. Again, if I close it out, it has to reload some part of the app. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all three of these open and dive into the settings here. And if we go to apps, hit out to running, we can see what apps are running. Now, most of these apps you'll see WhatsApp, Facebook, all this stuff that has a process running. And basically that means, you know, like WhatsApp and Facebook have to check for messages. Facebook checks for messages and post updates. Stuff that syncs basically stays properly running all the time, like map, like the Maps, the Google+, Plus, anything that is basically always running. Other stuff, like the apps I just opened, you'll notice aren't there, and basically they're cached. So if you press Show Cache, you'll see Twitter, Tap Talk, ESPN Goals, and loads of other stuff, and basically it stays in memory to a point. They're not completely in memory, because if I open Gmail, it'll have to open it again, because it's not properly running. So. You see here, Twitter, Tapper Talk, and ESPN Goals are the ones that I opened. So if I go ahead and close out all three, let's see what happens. And you can see all three disappeared. Now, I suppose you're wondering what all these apps are doing open um, or cached because they're not in my multitasking. Um, and basically, if you, you know, if you press one, this is an old process that is still running in case it's needed. There is usually no reason to stop it. There's some stuff you want in here, like the launcher. You don't want it to reload the launcher every time you go out. Otherwise, this would have to reload it. It'd be really, really frustrating. So, you know, so th these don't really matter. But you can see that when I did, as you can see, Twitter had to reload. If I go back into the settings, it'll be in the cached. It's actually in the running at the moment because it's obviously doing some, some work on grabbing uh, feeds. But now it'll be in the cached. And you can see if I close it out again, it's going to disappear. So some apps do completely close when you swipe them away. Some do not. For example, if we open music, if we open music and play it, I'll just play this one you see here. I don't know if you can hear that it is playing. If we leave that playing and we swipe it away, it's still playing. And the reason is that's now a service and it doesn't shut out services, basically. So you have to shut it properly to shut out a service. And if we go into the settings, uh, apps, running, the music, one process and one service is now disappeared because I shut it. It took some time, but it did eventually shut. And the cache processes, it'll be in there, even though it's not in my task menu. But if, you're, if I go into it, it still has to reload the app, as you can see. Whereas if I press it again, now it's in memory, it's loaded. So if I close it and reopen it, you can see it has to reload. So basically, both parties are right. It does shut apps. The uh, it do, When you swipe away, it does close apps, and it doesn't all at the same time. Basically, it's down to the app. Um, some apps will completely close when you swipe them away. Others will leave some of its some of its stuff in memory, and the only way you can take it out is to completely force stop it. But it's not worth it. Basically, if you're under the impression that swiping your apps away from here will clean your memory, you're pretty much right. It will basically clear most of the app out of memory, and you'll have to reload it when you do it again. So yeah, guys, I hope that's uh, made Android multitasking a little clearer, and. I would suggest if you're under the impression that swiping away clears the app, stay under that impression because it pretty much does. So yeah, see you guys later.